We are on a bus tour and we are going around the city of Ho Chi Minh and visiting some of the top cultural and touristy sites. We're starting at the War Remnants Museum, the museum that documents what Vietnam went through during the Vietnam War with America. They have very graphically shown uh, the, the difficulties and the, um, the injuries and the sustained horrors that they're still going through. Uh, it's incredibly difficult to look at. Important for the world to know, I think. Um, but yeah, incredibly hard. That before the, 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 the museum named War Remnants, it was named American Crime Museum. Wow. It was a very sensitive name and it was a very, you know, different way for you to understand about the war in, in our country, right? And, uh, which is from the communist side. When we talk about the war like this, in our country you still recognize we are still communist, right? Yeah. We still communist country and that's why war and politics and of the war is very it's one of the other things that absolutely are so sensitive to talk about, right? So I'm about to drink some weasel coffee. We've been taken to a shop uh, to be given a free sample of this weasel coffee. Weasel coffee is it's a bit like the Balinese coffee that Mariella tells us about. And it's uh, a weasel it poops out the beans and then they make coffee from it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, very different. Oh, that's really nice. Temple. It is called Ting Hao Temple. Ting Hao. What does it mean, Ting Hao? Ting Hao means goddess of the sea. So we're here at Ting Hao Temple. Uh, we've got lots of incense burning. These represent the five different elements. We've got water, wood, metal, and two others. Put the incense in here, you've got some burning, spirally incense, and you can put a prayer in there for a specific person, and they believe that the incense burns up and your prayer goes to that person. Um, so it's quite ornate. Uh, this is like a fairly uh, open religious temple, they don't, it's not specifically for one religion, so they welcome anyone. We don't have to cover up, we don't have to take our shoes off, uh, it's all very welcoming. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Very really nice time. We're currently in District 5. It feels a little bit like the Hunger Games here in Ho Chi Minh City with all the districts. And here's some outstanding photos of District 5. So we are in Chinatown going to the big market. Whoa. Just take it a little bit slowly. They literally see someone run across the road. Yeah. They just miss bikes or cars. Yeah, it's, a... it's like a game of chicken. Yeah. Shall we? Madness. Yeah, let's go. Go for it. So we're in the dense maze that is the Punte Market. Um, it's absolutely. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, we've come to a slightly more serene and calm place here, where it's just all the shoes. But when we walk through the, uh, the bag section, it's like, it's way through. It's not all right, it's a little bit claustrophobic, feeling a little kind of oppressed. It's more the wholesale market, so there's a lot of stuff going on. It's very colourful, very packed. Uh, it's quite hard to squeeze through these different areas. Uh, but it's pretty crazy, it's pretty cool. I've seen a lot of confectionery, bulk confectionery, uh, bulk clothing, sandals, shoes, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Our fellow tour bus people has kindly given us a tiny, tiny orange um, <laughs> called a tuck. <laughs> Is that right? Am I saying it right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> have, you, have you had this before? <laughs> it's good. Good. Tuck. Maybe it's called tuck because that's the make noise you make when you spit out the seeds. <laughs> so 
So we're here at the Reunification Palace here in Ho Chi Minh City and we're going to go on inside and have an explore. The name of the Reunification Palace is fairly new, they've changed it, it's the third name it's had uh, and there's also actually been two palaces. Um, one got bombed in an assassination attack on the president, so this is actually the president's house um, and so there's one palace, two buildings, three different names. This is a giant living room where they like to play huge games of Monopoly and charades to entertain themselves uh, and guests. Uh, they also sometimes play hide and seek in here um, and other various kind of parlour games. Pips in the palace. Where are we going? Pips in the palace. I don't know. This, uh, these rooms are the entertaining rooms. They look fairly similar to the rooms that are used for meetings and conferences. So maybe of what they do. This is the defence room. This is the room where they kind of map the progress of the war. Wow. I don't know why they're all facing the same way though. I think that's probably just for display purposes. The red phone. Da da da. And there's several floors to the palace. The first floor is meeting rooms and conference rooms, which is the same thing. The second floor is where the president hangs out and lives. And the third floor is his entertaining floor. And the fourth floor is his jacuzzi floor. Where he has, what's his, what happens on the fourth floor? The dance floor! At the fourth floor is the dance floor, the party floor. So that's the floors of the palace. We've got to the living area. Uh, where all the bedrooms are and dining rooms and a kind of little oasis in the middle. So these are all gifts that have been gifted to the president. When I go around to someone's, personally I go for a bottle of wine or some chocolates or maybe some dessert or so that sort of gift. But if someone decided to give elephant feet or some small, well quite large toy boats, some dead animal skulls. Um, and yeah, it's antlers. So, I don't know. So we're down in the basement of the palace, and it's a bit like Downton Abbey uh, kitchen down here, so this is where all the food would be prepared. So we are in Notre Cathedral in Saigon, as it's been called quite a number of times today, as well as Hitchin City. It was built in 1880, uh, and all of the stones and bricks that we used to build it were imported all the way from France. So it's built as a replica to the Notre Dame in Paris. So this is the post office. It's quite an old building. I'm not entirely sure when it was built, but it's built uh, as a modelled on the Gare de Lyon in France. So apparently on the inside, it's got the the arches that often train stations have, and especially the Gare de Lyon. Uh, but we should go in and have a look. But yes, it does have an arch. Uh, I thought it had many, but it just has the one. But it's what the Gare de Lyon looks like. Uh, at the end, there's a big portrait. I think it's probably of uh, Mr. Ho Chi Minh, but I'm not entirely sure. But here, there he is, kind of presiding over everything that goes on here. It is still an active post office. Actually, all distances within Vietnam, this is point zero. So this is where everything is measured from. So if you say something is 80 kilometers away from Ho Chi Minh City, it will be measured from here, which is quite cool. Yeah. Your name's Tam. Tam. Yeah. Where are you from, Tam? Oh, I'm from in the south of Vietnam, and now I live in Ho Chi Minh City to study. Yeah, are you studying English? Yeah. Oh, cool. At the university? Yeah. I'm studying in a department of indoor study. Oh, okay. Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Hello. I'm Vietnamese and now I'm practicing English with him. I think he's very interesting people because he's here not quite static. Yeah. I love him here. She loves my beard. Yeah. 